Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Stack Stacks. I'm John Swicky, and this is where we try to make AI just kind of fun and accessible for everybody to enjoy. So today we are going to look at ChatGPT's multimodality vision uh, update. It's been out for a little bit now, and we're gonna we're gonna put it through some through some tests today. So uh, let's take it out for a spin here. So. With with the new update now, you don't have to pick between specific models anymore, specific, you know, different plugins. It kind of all works under one drop down, which is nice. So we are now in our oh we're we're in a we're in a plus plan as well. Just just to keep that in mind. And now now we're able to add uh, files to this. So all right, let's go to the desktop, and I got a couple images on my desktop here. So let's let's pick out one here and see what we can do here. What is what is going on in the, in this picture? Oh my yeah. My file format might be a little. Oh yeah, these are AVIF, so it's probably not going to read that. All right, so let's try. Okay, so this is a list of this is a text on some images. Can you give me? bullet that's that is on this image so now this was just i forgot where this is even from looks like it's from maybe youtube with some video ideas and i asked it to kind of scan that image in then give me all that in text format. So pretty easy, pretty cool. Again, nothing that, you know, is too earth shattering, but all right, let's see what else we got here. I picked the exact same one. <laughs> Try this one. Tell me what is. All right, looks like we got... took a screenshot of uh, somebody, somebody posted something on YouTube. It's interesting. It really is breaking down everything like to it. <laughs> very descriptive. Very descriptive. A main section titled Personal Productivity Simple. Personal Productivity Simple. Pull that as a post. Right. All podcast music, profile picture, timestamp. Yeah, so it can really process these images. All right, now, can you tell me is in this photo all right we'll move on to some more more advanced stuff for today but i just have a support chat and i can't get over just how how descriptive it is of everything that's going to kind of going on in the photo it really kind of describes it pretty well um, and uh, yeah it's just very very descriptive very descriptive all right so i took a screenshot of a ui so let's see we could do with this okay so i want you to act like a developer and need help in coding this image into html css javascript please don't use any frameworks and code this best way you see fit and please explain your decision. Decision. Oh my god, I can't. It's like delicious. D. I, I am. Okay, wait, I can do this. D. It's like 3 a.m. Everybody bear with me here. I'm combining. I can't spell decisions. Oh my god. Decision. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everyone. It's early. It's early. Okay, so it's explaining, kind of explaining itself a little bit, how it's structuring some things it's going to go for here. Pretty quick. Okay, so it did each thumbnail, title. Let's see how the code is. Let's... Oh. 
Let's see what we got here. Uh, image is broken because, yeah, we don't have a path. But. Yeah, you can work with that. You can work with that. Yeah, you can work with that. All right, let's try. Let's try another one. We're going to use a similar prompt, but we're going to be a little bit more specific. I want you to use Tailwind, CSS. Oh, CSS. All right. Get another layout. I just wanted to kind of see. Uh, it's going to kind of walk us through the steps again. I kind of like seeing it explain itself. It's kind of cool. Let's see if making it use specific framework would get us slightly to a better result. I mean, that's pretty good. You know, from scratch and just, just taking a screenshot and not knowing too much about what you're going on, it's a pretty it's a pretty impressive pretty impressive feat here. All right, let's get, I want to download. All right, here we go. We got to get a cat in here. Download. We got to do, we got to do one final demo. All right. All tag. All tag for this image. Horror. Blog. Blog. So let's see if we could just write a simple alt tag. A curious cat peering out from an opening in a cardboard box with the words no trampoline printed on it, while another cat is playfully stepping out on top of the box. Oh. <laughs> that, is, that is exactly what is happening here. Oh, let's try. Oh, wait, because of... No, no, wait, it should work with code, code interpreter. Can you change this image to black and white? Let's see if it could take it from from its memory in the previous chat, run it through the code interpreter, which I'm sure is what's what it's doing right now. Yeah, it's using some Python to create a black and white image. This is pretty cool. And did it can I download it? Oh, here we go. No, don't do it again. Yeah. And we can see on here made a beautiful black and white version. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I mean, you could kind of see like this. You know, we just went through a couple quick examples, but by being able to process images in this way, there's definitely interesting use cases that we can kind of come up with and that we can kind of play around with. Obviously, oh, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that's cool. I rendered it right back into the chat window. I like that. And, you know, I think, you know, we could do some interesting things with this. You know, definitely some of the code examples make me want to, you know, kind of get in there a little bit more and try out a couple more things. I think also, too, I'm sure with the APIs, you might be able to have some automatic alt tag action on your site. But I think, yeah, and then, you know, the OCR stuff is pretty helpful. If you're trying to get some text out of an image, but yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a powerful, powerful feature that I, it feels like one of those things that, you know, you're only scratching the surface with at the moment. So I'm going to keep playing. So if you guys do anything interesting with the, uh, let us know in the comments and uh, thanks for uh, joining us this morning. Have a good day, everybody.